fixing a few things on the site, the bionicchaos.com, uh, but first I want to do those uh, spectrogram EEG thing, which is relying on this fairly large file. So we'll try and fix that. What we generally trying to do is make this tool more responsive. And we tried quite a few things and that didn't really work. So we will be making the actual file smaller because uh, we're not actually looking at the whole thing. This is using Plotly Express. So it is loading it in the browser. I know this one works okay. I actually want to load from a certain uh, time in the file. So we're using the Pandas CSV read for this. We're reading only this chunk size. But really what we want to do is go EG view for a sec. No, actually let's go. Yeah, EG view. Have yeah, that points per second is working okay. Yeah, I want to We'll use GitHub Copilot for this. Let's make this smaller. GitHub Copilot. Uh, start time seconds is not used. Let's see if any suggestions. So well, it's suggesting. Yeah, we don't want to go from zero. And we can close it for a sec. It's the same file as being loaded on the website and various a uh, various tools on the website are using this file. We want to make it work better. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Uh, can we uh, return info about the data? Okay, where did you get this information from? Which is correct. Wait. The data file contains 16 columns of EG data each row. And the file represents a single. No. Let's print out the first 10 lines. Hey, this is not in seconds. Is it in seconds? Don't think that's in seconds. Let's make that one. A hey, one second. So we're reading 10 seconds displaying one. Okay, this sounds a uh, better. So there's no number of points. Yeah, everything needs to be multiplied. Is there a time column? Hey, I don't think there is. I don't think that there is a data for timestamps in the data file. And we are adding the time column. Okay, this is more like it. Now, where is the seizure? If you have any questions, please pop them in. Especially if you check the website and you have any comments, suggestions, complaints. This is a good time because it's under development. We're currently doing the EEG stuff. Have the music. It's the same file. Yes, shell 7 should have this peak at uh, 31.62 so that's the sampling rate have the start time for the segment something wrong because i don't see the seizure did i cut the file already or something no the spikes go all the way up to 400 or so yeah we always use the same file so we only have one copy of it yeah we're not doing that correctly are we yeah let's use this instead Let's read the data. Okay, now it's working. You can probably cut the file. Then you can round this number. Yeah, that's the seizure there. Now the thing about this file, you can probably chop it off. Okay, so the current file is way too long and we don't actually need all of it. Can we make a copy of the file and only keep uh, the data that is necessary? Yeah, start a new chat and we're also asking the same thing from GitHub Copilot. And this will be a separate 
Uh, this will be the separate data file. Let's check that it's still working okay. Let's create another uh, shoot uh, that uh, file. Bit of a manual work, but this will make things so much better. Should be much uh, faster, stronger. Well, they are. They were always fast on the server locally. Question is how much faster they will be in production. That's the old one, which we can be replacing. Yeah, we like the idea behind that. You know, but it's loading in a different way and then changing something in the code. We don't have relevant. Relevant. We got rid of it. I have the original file. Right, we don't need to plot. So it's now 2.3 megabytes instead of uh, 1.8 gigabytes. This will improve things. Originally, I thought of just loading only the relevant uh, portion of the file, but no, because it's processing the whole file. It was taking quite some time. Okay, so we are ready to to deploy if we have any errors we just have to deal with them so we won't have backup for this can have infinite backups sometimes you just have to move forward deployment should be much faster because we don't have that uh, 1.8 gigabyte file anymore that's handy doesn't it isn't it and it's still a bit delayed might need to clear whatever we have cached in the cdn take about 30 seconds or so yes so we have some things are working better now they're loading quicker this one used to take about 10 seconds or so to load i still have a problems with it, but um yeah the spectrogram as well yeah it's loading much much quicker so they're the big plus. We made the data um, smaller, just uh, taking the relevant bit out of it instead of looking at the two gigabyte uh, file. It's now just the uh, two point three megabyte. So that's a big uh, advantage. Yes, yeah, some stuff is synthetic like this one, so obviously much better in terms of uh, running. There's no issue with it whatsoever. Let's scroll. Should be really across the whole screen to adjust the styling, the CSS for it. So we need to still be testing. How many files are actually using? How many tools are using the data? Okay, we have coherence, eg music, eg view, eg two. Yeah, so that file works so okay can probably get rid of it how good is getting rid of things a spectrum channel yeah all the start time now should be zero we remove the beginning and chop the file we're only keeping that seizure uh, this one so that's nice spectrogram i think now something is wrong with this coherence doesn't go above something with 100. Can we search for 100? Okay, yeah, so let's start. It's going up to 10,000 steps of 10. No, why is it the steps of 10? Should still be a range. Start value zero minimum a uh, 10 won't be working of course so we have to actually run the application where's the seizure yep the seizure is there a uh, window size a uh, step of one it's okay window size is 91 or so going minimum zero you can see keep it 90 because the window size should be minus the window size doesn't have css doesn't have styling to it but it's actually working now yeah i want to deploy this one as well 
Uh, so if you haven't checked uh, bionicos.com, please go check the site. You will be helping out the project this way. And I'll see you next time. Bye.